What is going on everybody? It is me again. It is HorrorFan34 and welcome to another video and welcome to day 25 of the 31 Days of Horror Challenge in October. Now that we are on day 25 of the challenge, I figured I'd talk about this one next because I reviewed the original of this film actually last year for the 31 Days of Horror Challenge in October. And I reviewed that film... <clears throat> on the very last day of Halloween season last year. But I never talked about the sequel, and me and my buddies, Rob, Alex, and Dan, we, we kind of covered all the films of this already before in the Movie Busters uh, live chat past couple episodes because we're covering the Halloween franchise. <clears throat> up next we got coming up is the Bloomhouse trilogy. But that's not the, the topic at hand right now. We're talk I'm going to be talking about my personal favorite Halloween film, and that is... Halloween 2 from 1981. Um, always been a big fan of this film. Always thought this is this was always this was always my personal favorite Halloween film. I love the original as well, but this has always been my personal favorite. Um, first off, uh, I'm gonna get directed by Rick Rosenthal. I thought he did a great job directing this film. I know they wanted John Carpenter to do it originally, but John Carpenter said no. I kind of already told my side of the story of Michael Myers um, so that they got someone else to do it. I know at one point, I think John Carpenter, because he worked on the music in this, I know John Carpenter originally wanted Tommy Lee Wallace to, to direct the film, but he said no. And then later go on to do Halloween 3, which I also really enjoy. <clears throat> but Halloween 2, I mean, what more can you say about it? It picks up right after the first film. And it's and it takes place in the hospital, and you know Michael Myers is out for revenge, and he's and he's, it takes place in the memorial, the Haddonfield Memorial Hospital, looking for Laurie Strode, and he's killing people one by one. And that's pretty much the idea of the film. Now, this was coming out around the time when slashers were really starting to boom, because you figure around this time, because you figure in the seventies, you, you you had this, the start of the boom with the original Chainsaw Massacre, the original Black Christmas. <clears throat> and then when it came around this time, you have films like The Burning, The Prowler, Friday the 13th, part, Friday the 13th Part 2, Part 3. Well, Part 3 would come out after this. So it was around that time when 80 slasher films were really starting to really get big. And it kind of follows that same suit in this. Uh, definitely much more gorier than the original And overall, this is like a, it's such a great movie. First off, the cast comes back. Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode once again does a great job. You got Donald Pleasance coming back as Loomis. Always great to see Donald Pleasance. Charles Cyphers comes back as Sheriff Brackett from the first film. Does a great job here. And some of the and this time around you have Dick Warlock this time around as Michael Myers. I think Dick Warlock did a great job as Michael Myers. And some of the other, and some of the new people in here, you have Lance Guest, who who is the last Starfighter himself. Uh, Leo Rossi, always been a big fan of Leo Rossi from Re the Relentless films and a lot of other stuff. Nancy Stevens does a great job as well, <clears throat> and and some of the some great kills in here, like the the guy gets the thing in the bag and he gets lifted up, you know, the most memorable death scene in the movie people's throats getting slit so definitely much more gorier and much more graphic than the original film but I, I love that though and I also really love the hospital setting I love the way that it's set in the hospital I think it was a much better idea of a hospital setting here than Halloween Kills that's just my opinion though um and fun little fact here if you blink you miss them but I think he's like a TV reporter, a part of the ambulance crew, but if you see in a tiny little part, it's Dana Carvey. Yes, way before Wayne's World and SNL and all that stuff, Dana Carvey had a role, a tiny role in this film. So if you, if you, see, if you look at him, that's Dana Carvey. I, I always thought that was kind of a fun little little nugget of information right there. It's kind of funny. My buddy Alex mentioned it in the uh, live stream that we did. Um... Once again, the musical score by John Carpenter and Deborah Hill. Fantastic score. Very well directed by Rick Rosenthal. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail about this because I, I kind of talk about it more on the live stream. But definitely my personal favorite uh, Halloween film. 
and that is pretty much it for my review for Halloween 2. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I will see you guys next time.